take the ink pad, and this is a felt ink pad, get some color down there. How we're going to get this ink off is we're going to use our Distress Sprayer. And this is a really great uh, all-purpose water bottle to have in your craft stash. For the paper that I'm using for this, it's the new Distress White Heavy Stock. It make it slightly damp. We don't want it soaking wet, but we do want a little bit of moisture there. And I'm going to go ahead and just pop it down and then lift it right up. Okay, now I'm using my Heat It Craft Tool by Ranger. This is what I use whenever I'm trying to dry off anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to once again just spray. And as you can see, I'm just kind of pressing and I'm just pressing it in spots. I'm not smushing it all the way down like I did the first time. Let's take a look at this die. This is a pretty massive die. All right, we're going to send it through. Beautiful. Holy moly, look at that. Take a moment. So I'm gonna start this project with a piece of watercolor cardstock here. So I'm gonna start by wetting my paintbrush and I'm gonna get it really sopping wet. So I'm gonna kind of go about a third of the way down. So I'm gonna wet my paintbrush here, add a bit of water, and then I'm just gonna go and let the watercolor just kind of do its work here. But then I'm gonna take my uh, blower tool, which is one of the items that you want to have as well. You can try to use a straw, but I really like this for alcohol inks. And so you get that really fun kind of splattery look there. Still while it's wet, I'm not going to dry it. And I'm going to go in with my next color. So I'm just going to drag it down. So then I'm going to kind of mix those two with each other. So here are some of the finished cards. This one is the background that we did on screen that I shared with you, as well as this one. I'm going to be taking those paper strips and laying them onto the double-sided adhesive in a row. I will be alternating between the colors. Now that our paper strip sheet is done, I'm going to take a simple die, this is a leaf die from Paper Rose, run it through my Spellbinders machine, and cut out a leaf from that paper strip sheet. I also cut the leaf out of the center of this card panel. This card panel measures four by five and a half. I will be taking some more paper strips that coordinate with the whole color scheme. I'm going to add them to the sides of the card panel. I'm going to be taking a sentiment from the Wishing You Well scrapbook.com exclusive stamp set. I'm going to be taking the Smart Craft glue again. I'm going to be adding it to the die cut area on the card panel. I'm going to be taking the leaf that I die cut earlier and adding it to the die cut area on the card panel. I couldn't help but use some pops of color from scrapbook.com to add a little bit more detail to the card. I'm gonna have my acrylic block at the ready so that right when we remove our heat, we can stamp it right into the foam. And I like to go down into the foam when I'm using an acrylic block like this because it'll apply an even pressure on the surface and give a really nice even texture to it. So there you can see our image has stamped and transferred. I'm going to grab my ink pads. We're gonna start off with a little bit of slippery when wet and a detail blending tool. These are Ranger's detail ink blending tools and I really love them for getting all of the tiny little details in the coloring that we want. So if you're not a huge fan of coloring in flowers, um, but you like kind of stamping and inking, this is a really great way to get the colored flower. And I'm going to go in here with my spray bottle and just lightly mist it, you know, three or four times. So now let's grab my stark white cardstock and then we can give it some good pressure to transfer all of that ink. And then when we lift it off, look, you get that beautiful stamped result. I'm going to be taking some bigger scraps of paper from this cardstock stack. I cut some circles out using the nested circle die set from scrapbook.com. I'm going to take the Smart Craft glue and glue a few of them together, alternating in color. I cut the circle in half, but I'm going to save it for later. I'm going to take the same nested circle die set, and I'm actually going to be using them to emboss on the white cardstock. It's hard to see, but the embossing gives a lot of interest to the simple card design. I took a word die from Pinkfresh Studios exclusive scrapbook.com Thin Words Everyday Script die set. I cut it out six times, two of each color with three different colors. Add some Smart Craft glue. I'm going to add it to my card base. Then I'm going to take the word die, add some more Smart Craft glue to the back of it, add it to the bottom portion of the half circle. Here is a look at that simple card design. I love the bright colors on the white cardstock. 